Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the recent news that has come in the headlines is the Aam Aadmi Party, also called as AAP, has become or has been given the status of the national party by the Election Commission of India. So, we are going to discuss in this particular video in great detail that what is the criteria on the basis of which a party can be recognized as a national party, the criteria on the basis of which a party can be recognized as a state party and who is the authority that decides about this particular status. So, first of all, to give you the brief context of this particular news, the Election Commission of India on the Monday, that is yesterday, has recognized the AAP party as a national party and at the same time in the same meeting, they also have revoked the status of national party from three parties, that is All India Trinamool Congress from West Bengal, Nationalist Congress Party as well as the Communist Party of India. The Commission also has revoked the state party status that was granted earlier to Rashtriya Loktal RLD in Uttar Pradesh, BRS in the Andhra Pradesh, PDA in Manipur, PMK in Puducherry, RSP in West Bengal and MPC in Mizoram. And while in the same press conference, Commission has noted that as far as the NCP and Trinamool Congress are concerned, they will be recognized now as a state party rather than a state party in, Nega, in Nagaland and Meghalaya respectively based on the current performance or the present performance which they have given in the recently concluded assembly elections. So, with this particular changes, now if you talk about we have how many national parties in India. So, first of all, we have the National People's Party NPP that is having or enjoying the status of national party. Then we have obviously the Bharatiya Janata Party, the currently ruling uh, government, the Bahujan Samaj Party of Uttar Pradesh and CPIM and then Indian National Congress. And obviously now joining the bandwagon is the Aam Aadmi Party of Arvind Kejriwal. So currently if we talk about we have total six parties which are enjoying the status of national party. Now what is a national party? If we try to define it in a simple term, we can define it as the party which has a presence at a national level as opposed to a regional party whose presence is restricted to only a particular state or a particular region. So, usually if you talk about India's biggest parties such as Bharatiya Janata Party, Indian National Congress, these are generally categorized or these are generally the parties that are having a pan-India presence. However, some smaller parties are also every now and then recognized as a national party based on the poll performance which they have given. Now, obviously, once a party is recognized as a national party, a certain stature is associated with it. But this does not necessarily mean or translate into having a lot of national political club. And some parties, even though they are not enjoying the status of national party, despite being dominant in some major state or one or two states, such as DMK in Tamil Nadu, Biju Janata Dal in the Odisha, YSRCP in Andhra Pradesh, Rashtri Janata Dal in Bihar or TRS in Telangana, have a major say in the national affairs and though, even though they remain regional parties because obviously they are able to send more number of re representatives to the Lok Sabha has a state which is having a lot of uh, parliamentary seats in the parliament and that is why they are able to have a strong influence on the national affairs. So now the question comes that how can we define any party as a national party, how a party is characterized as a national party. So, in this context, the Election Commission of India has laid down the technical criteria for a party to be recognized as such. A party may gain or lose national party status from time to time depending on the fulfillment of these laid down conditions. Now, these conditions are laid down in Election Commission of India's Political Parties and Election Symbols 2019 Handbook. And as per this particular handbook, three or four major criteria are there that a party must have to fulfill to get a national party status. So, first of all, the party must be recognized in four or more states of India. That means it must be enjoying a state party status in four or more states of India. Second, if its candidates fall at least 60% of the total valid votes in 84 or more states in the last Lok Sabha or Assembly elections and the party has at least four MPs, at least four member of parliaments in the last Lok Sabha poll, that is the second criteria. And third criteria is if the party has won at least 2% of the total seats in the Lok Sabha from not less than three states of India. If the party is able to fulfill all these three, four criteria, then they are able to get the status of national party as per the handbook of Election Commission of India. 
So this is about the national party status. Now the first criteria as we have just discussed is the party need to be recognized as state party in four or more states. So how a party is recognized as a state party? What is the criteria for that? So for that we have election commission of India has said that at least 6% of vote share in the last assembly election and the party should have at least two member of legislative assemblies or have 6% of vote share in the last Lok Sabha elections from that state and at least one member of parliament from that state. This is the first criteria. Or if suppose a party is not able to fulfill this first criteria, then the party should have at least 3% of the total number of seats or three seats, whichever is more in the last assembly elections or at least one MP for every 25 members or any fraction allotted to the state in the Lok Sabha or have at least 8% of the total valid votes in the last assembly election or Lok Sabha election from the state. If any of these criteria are met by the political parties, then they can be characterized and recognized as state parties and then upon the following, uh, upon fulfillment of the other criteria, they can be given the status of the national party. So if we talk about the status of AAP now, AAP already has big majorities. They already have formed the government in two large states in Delhi and Punjab. And in the recent time, in the last year, when the assembly elections were held in Goa, the party has got 6.77% of the vote. That is higher than, as we can see, the vote required here is at least 6% 6 of the total vote. So obviously they had higher than 6% of total votes in the state of Delhi and Punjab and they also got 6.77% total votes in the Goa. That means they already have a status of greater than 6% votes in the three states. So in recent situation, in recent times, in the Gujarat assembly election, the AAP party got almost 13% vote and with this, they already got more than double of what is required to be recognized as a state party. Thus, our party got straight party recognition in four states of India, that is Delhi, Punjab, Goa and Gujarat. And that is why they were given the status of national party by the election commission of India. So what is the advantages, if you can talk about, of having this particular status? So first of all, obviously, it make party a slightly higher, it gives a high, slightly higher stature to the political parties. but Apart from that, any recognized political party enjoys several privileges like a reserved party symbol, free broadcast time on state run television and radio, concentration in the setting of election dates with the Election Commission of India, and also giving input in the setting electoral rules and regulations. That means what we can say in brief that if a party has got national party status, they can be expected to play a much more proactive role in the entire electoral system, election process system of India, along with the Election Commission of India and the other stakeholders. So I hope you understood about the recent uh, news about the AAP becoming national party, its implications, criteria and all, this, and all these kind of things. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your fellow aspirants as well as subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you very much.